Hi, this is Dizzy Dolly or Classy Aspie. And uh, in my last video, in the comments, y'all asked me to do a video about serial killers since it's been a while and it really has, and about my new home. So I'm doing both. Chicago serial killer. Still active too. Uh, okay, so this has been a thought since around 2001, way before I was bothered with YouTube. Um, bodies have been found in lots of abandoned uh, alleys, buildings, garages. Some were dumped in cans or even burned. Uh, and a large common denominator is that they died by asphyxiation. They were strangled to death. Um, one of those being Gwendolyn Williams, murdered in 2002, found in the 4800 block, uh, North Sheridan, clear signs of sexual assault or sex as a prelude to a violent assault. Uh, there was skin under her nails. This girl fought. <clears throat> so investigators in Chicago asked murder accountability project fantastic by the way to help find patterns in missing cases 50 of them 50 murders in chicago met the criteria of a pattern for a serial killer uh shout out to murder accountability project i wish i could get a job with y'all huge influence over my crime thriller series of novels thank you anyway murder accountability project is like a serial killer detector and uh they seem to agree serial killer you know there's a serial killer in chicago killing fields in the south side far south chicago and chicago's west side victim patterns many sex workers uh many had a history of drugs uh, this is what we like to call easy targets. Um, Ted Bundy actually made fun of the Green River Killer, Gary Ridgway, for his easy targets. Uh, so, I despise the law's terminology about sex workers, and it appalls me that sex workers and people who have used drugs get pushed to the bottom of the pile as far as priority. Uh, cases dropped at around 2014, so Chicago's thinking we have no serial killer. And uh, so he may have been in jail and they should have looked into imprisoned Trix or Johns, uh, especially Trix with a history of domestic violence. That's right, domestic violence, not just violence against prostitutes or strippers or any form of sex worker specifically domestic violence that might be helpful you know it might have helped if they had looked into that because serial killers don't just kill prostitutes they don't just hate prostitutes because they don't hate prostitution that doesn't bother them Prostitution actually gives them a place for their wolf to come out and play, so to speak. They kill prostitutes because they hate women and only can go so far to knock around their women at home. Uh, in the family and at the dating pool for so long before they end up in jail, as my notes say. Um, so... Somebody was in jail. Cases picked back up in 2017 and kept on keeping on. Um, whoever went to jail, they're out. In two years, Diamond Turner, Catherine Buchanan, Valerie Marie Jackson, Laura Dawn Harbin, and Nicole Ridge were killed. Um, and that's just the ones we know about. I think Ridge's memorial is still up. Um, 
near the garage she was found in. Anyway, again, all strangled. Renee Holyfield was found dead September in 2018. Um, and I think that case is still cold as she was found by sanitation workers. Um, and she was too decomposed to, for it to then to be able to verify cause of death, but it was not ruled out that it was homicide and there were signs of strangulation. There's lots of bones in the neck, you know? Um, and she was found by sanitation workers, you know, near 52, five West and 95th street. I still am not privy to the streets names here. So <clears throat> Chicago PD, says they have no reason to suspect a serial killer. Sounds a lot like LISC. Investigators talk to Murder Accountability Project. Uh, Murder Accountability Project is like, hey, you got yourself a good old fashioned serial killer. And the PD shuts it down. Oh, hey, LISC. I mean, Burke. Um, so we do have a pattern with how police departments respond to allegations or signs of serial killers. So while Wendell and Williams turned out to be connected to a robber, she'd been with him that day or night, um, he was extradited, go figure. So I mean, he couldn't, for all I know, he was the guy. I'll have to look into it more. Um, Chicago just keeps warning women against sex work and drugs um, as if getting murdered is a choice you make. Uh, either Chicago has a serial killer or that was the laziest fear mongering I've seen since Jack the Ripper and I wasn't around when Jack the Ripper was. So. Chicago serial killer, if you're watching this, um, I'd love to get coffee. Subscribe to my page. Uh, I hope everyone is having a fantastic start to the week. Um, and don't forget to, if you're interested in my pinup and modeling material, to please subscribe. And if you're not and you like to read, you can buy books from me. I will drop all those links in the comments. You can also buy books from me direct, as well as tip this channel to keep content like this coming. And in future content, I might even have a couch to sit on. Anyway, thanks everyone, and I hope you have a fabulous week.